Egypt pride, Thailand pride for you. This is a place for tourists to have their fun. Everything is legal here. All right, this is what you guys see on Instagram. And this is what reality looks like. And as you can see, they, they write down here like... I'm either gonna die or... Or survive, so we'll see. It's different than uh, Vietnam, definitely. And we've seen these kind of attractions all over the place, so... Although everyone is saying there are more Russians here. We rode the elephants, now we are giving them some treats. <laughs> I feel good. Okay, super crowded. <laughs> in beautiful Thailand. Uh, the city is named Phuket and first thing we gotta do, gotta get some cash. Changing $100. The, the currency is called what? What here? What is the currency called here? Bad. Bad. Yeah. Thank you. Okay guys, I got uh, 3,500 baht. Today is sunny day. We were driving an hour on a taxi from airport to our place. First impression, it's different than uh, Vietnam, definitely. It's more superficial, more tourists. So, um, the streets are narrower, less bikes, more cars. And as you can see, they, they write down here like less Russians. Although everyone is saying there are more Russians here. But they haven't been in Nachang, I guess. All right, so that's what we need to be. Colorful Phuket travel and tour, right? So they got plenty of different no. uh, tourist attractions. Hi, how are you guys? What would you recommend? Yeah, PP. PP? PP board. Ah, so this is the PP island. I think we should go there too. Like, we'll go try it out and see how that works out. So we should take us about an hour. Uh, one of the things we gotta take the shoes off. Yeah. Ready to go. Going to the Piki Island. This is not the best day for me. I'm, I'm kind of sick. I got that sick few days ago and I'm still like under the weather. But uh, we're waiting for the ticket, so we gotta do it. So I gotta push through it for the day. So we'll see. I'm either gonna die or, or survive. So we'll see. We are going for the three islands, Pipi Lay, Pipi Dot, and Bamboo Island. Alright, this is what you guys see on Instagram and this is what reality looks like. <laughs> I guess we got lucky today and the weather is nice, the water is warm, the sand is like a flower, it's just beautiful. That looks like a breakfast place. You wanna come in, check it out? Alright, good. I'll take one of this. I'll go with the salmon. And what do you have in? So what's the first impression so far? So it looks um, way more I don't know, how do you call it, civilized, more advanced technology in ways, in comparison to the Vietnam. The, it comes with the price, so obviously it's a little bit more expensive, maybe by 30-40% more expensive than Vietnam. 
All right, after beautiful and tasty breakfast, we are heading to the beach. We were just talking in a cafe while we were sitting and eating about whether we've met any happy people yet. Yes, there are a lot of tourists. Yes, there are a lot of uh, different kind of restaurants and everything looks good and sun and shiny. But if you look, we're not really all that excited or happy or, you know, looking forward to it. Maybe they just tired from the heat and exhausted. But hey, it's only morning. Like, it's only, what, 11 a.m. now? It's too early to be tired. It's Everything looks very fresh. Chicken are you, hearts. Are you guys grilling it? Really? Yeah, grilling? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's like a quick, uh, quick place for some fresh food. Fruits. We got a different video about different fruits, so if you want to check that out, uh, check our other video about South Asian fruits, Do mango. Do you see anything that you haven't seen in uh, Vietnam? Uh, no, everything is the same actually. Durians, jackfruit, mangosteens, same thing for now. I haven't seen uh, yet new fruits. This green thing maybe is new, I haven't seen this. What is this, the green? Guava, okay, guava. Yeah, we have tried guava. Shawarma, <laughs> chicken shawarma, kebab. They call it kebab here, but... So I don't know how it works, but I'm assuming you pick from here, you fry it, you ask them to fry, and then you sit here, and then once it's ready, they just bring it down there to you. Hi. And some barbecues, uh, ribs, chicken. Hi. How are you? Good. These are cute. I haven't tried this, but we gotta try it as well. As you have seen, this is a pretty popular place for a quick lunch. Uh, we have seen the fruits which are almost the same as in Vietnam, but the fun part is that you can pick whatever you want to be grilled, vegetables, meats, chicken, ribs, seafood, and then they prepare it on the spot within maybe five or ten minutes, and then they serve you on the table. So it's not a high-end restaurant, but it's still great for a quick lunch. These are Asian elephants. There are two types of elephants, African and Asian. Uh, and they're a little bit different. They have, Asians have smaller ears because it's not that hot like in Africa, apparently. As we sit on it, you feel every single part of the elephant moving. Yeah. I want to be the best in the game, invest in my name. Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain, assess and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name. All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. We rode the elephants, now we are giving them some treats. I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I got is working Never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic You can't stop it, it's been chronic since <laughs> 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 so still here so the ride it can chaotic go to last with the webs I'm with and I can change the past with the line. Okay, it looks like we got a little fish therapy down here. So the way it works is uh, you sit on this bench and then you put your legs down in this like aquarium, I suppose, and just hold it for maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes. Depends on how much money you have. So basically 10 minutes is 100 baht, 20 minutes, 150 baht, uh, 30 minutes, 200 baht. So just for the reference point, 100 baht is three dollars. Phuket is a big island. Uh, there are many beaches like uh, Kamala, Patong, Kata, Karon, and we picked Patong. Right now we are in Patong Beach, and the reason for us picking Patong Beach is because this is considered the most active, the most touristy beach. So we wanted uh, to come here, experience a little bit of nightlife, and then go to a more uh, calm beach. 
so let's see how Patong Beach is. Uh, if you have been here, share your feedback right out in the comments. Just like in Vietnam, we've seen a lot of different small temples right on the streets. Uh, this one is a little bit different from what we used to see in Vietnam. I mean, obviously it's a different country and they got different rules and the culture is different. And look, they even put some water and I don't know what that is. Looks like a Coke, which is probably not. It's more probably juice or something with the fruits, I believe, and flowers. Okay, so we walked about five or ten minutes from our hotel and we're already on the beach. I don't see any big hotels right on the beach, uh, sea view beach like we used to see in Vietnam, but probably there are boutique rooms or boutique hotels, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we're on the beach almost, let's go check it out. How long is this for? One hour? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Ten minutes. Uh, right from the start, we can see it's so overcrowded here and uh, everyone is sitting under the trees. How much is the chair? One chair, 100 baht. One chair for how long? For a day? One day, yeah. One day, 100, one chair. Yeah, it's not that expensive actually. 100 baht for a chair for the whole day. Okay, super crowded. Wow, look at this. So they're trying to sell us jet ski, water sports, banana boat, parachuting, paragliding, everything you want for your own pleasure. Okay, first touchdown with the Thailand Phuket water. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say here, but we've been thinking about Thailand for the past three years since we moved to Florida. We've been thinking about moving to Thailand and uh, every year there was something that didn't let us to. So we ended up going to Armenia first and then Vietnam and finally we got here to the Thailand. So we've heard so much about Phuket. In comparison to Vietnam, it's a little bit different. I mean, the beach is somewhat the same. Vietnam is less crowded than here. There you go. There you go. The little one there and the big one, big one like this, is really clever and really dangerous. We do so as we walk there under the tree, you need to check first. If monkey on the top on the tree, you don't close it, just make a little bit far away from the tree. Why not? Because sometimes monkey is picky. <laughs>
so hot, so we got the table. But it looks like they were trying to sit on that table too, so we gave it up. I was being a nice guy, and I was like, okay, that's fine, you can have it. But I feel good. It feels like the main attraction in Thailand is uh, Muay Thai. So as we're sitting here in the cafe, just drinking our coconut water, they are giving out these flyers. And we've seen these kind of attractions all over the place. So as you're walking by the street, you'll see these flyers, and sometimes they just sit on a car and doing a little demonstration where two guys on the pickup truck just at the back they start fighting each other I mean not in a real fight they're just kind of demonstrating different type of moves but it's interesting fascinating we should definitely give it a shot and see how it is let us know what you think and whether we should try it out since the sports are very popular here they have the sports stores everywhere as you can see there's some sport equipment you can buy here uh, most of the things are kickboxing, Muay Thai, some Jiu Jitsu. Uh, so yeah, it's very nice to see that you have the sport right next to you. So if you want to take a workout, feel free to hop in any, any workout center, any gym. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Like in most of Asian uh, cities, there are no street lights, so you just have to pave your way while you're crossing the street. <laughs> Although I would say that the cars stop here more they uh, yield to the pedestri pedestrians a little bit more than they used to do in Vietnam this is a place for tourists to have their fun everything is legal here if you know what I mean hey. as you can see Thai, thai with oil aloe vera head shoulder and back foot massage right. a lot of choices all right, thank you. We'll be back. So one, two, three, four, five. One under another. The nightlife starts in here, right so, now. What is ping pong show? It's very popular in Asia for people just sit on the sidewalks and chill, watch the people, drink their drinks. That is not something you'll see in the US. Joker, looks like we are bouncing to Gotham City. Yes, right behind me, I just passed them. I didn't want to shoot them right in the face, but you can see right in back behind me the face of the guy. Guys, as you have seen, the street is crazy. We just came out of it, and my ears are still ringing. So you can drink, you can take girls, you can. Uh, and that's like just ping pong. I'm kind of wondering what the hell the people. 